Uh, hi guys, hope you're washing your hands. Um, I'm going to show you guys some quick like interval intense uh, strength that you can do at home. Um, it's not so much like gymnastic skills or anything, but just like keep your fitness up, uh, get, some, get some cardio going. So um, yeah, I'll show you guys some exercises. You can really do them in any order. Uh, just make sure that yeah, do take a rest in between them. Not too long, obviously. Just keep going one after one, one after one. Um, and yeah, make sure it's pretty intense. Keep going with it. So guys, our first exercise is gonna be skipping, of course. Um, if you go to backyard, you can do it anywhere you want. Um, we're gonna do three sets for uh, a minute each. Um, so we're gonna do a minute of one leg, one leg. Uh, we're gonna do a minute of two legs together and then a minute of doubles. Let's go. All right, guys, so our second exercise is gonna be shuttle runs. Now, I'm out the front of my house. Um, gonna pick the paving stones just there. Pick the lines about two spaces apart and run back and back uh, and forth between them. You probably wanna you know, pick a few incrementally, um, work your way up, and then work yourself, well, work, work, work the way back to your front door. Boys, this next one's the old classic, push-ups. Uh, yeah, look, depending on how boss you are, do um, between 10 and 20. Uh, because, you know, there's so many variations of push-ups, do them in between your um, other sets, like in between skipping and the shuttle runs, for example. Um, but yeah, play around with the numbers, see what feels good for you. So uh, those four that I just did were um, normal grip, wide grip, side to side and diamond hands. Um, I've got a little deck area so I'm going to do some incline with my hands on the deck. Um, if you don't have one of those grab a chair or um, another kind of raised surface you can do them as well. Alright so the next exercise is also going to be using the, like, the raised surface so keep the chair if you've got it out. Um, we're going to be doing dips, so obviously hands on the uh, raised surface, bending up and down. Make sure you get those triceps and the top of your chest involved. That's how we do it. Play around with a little bit of um, hand placement, so if you want, try a bit wider, see where that gets you. Try the hands a little bit narrower if you want. Could also work for you. Just see what you feel um, works the most. All right, now we're gonna do something for the legs. We're gonna do uh, squats, so you give yourself a small raised surface, stand back face to it, you're gonna squat, Keep sure you, like make sure your heels are on the ground uh, and then straight back up again. Make sure you're looking forward, keep a nice straight back. Uh, straight after that one, just to activate the uh, quads a little bit more, I'm gonna do uh, pistols. So try um, five each leg um, and then if that's sufficient, then so be it. Uh, but you can add some more if you feel like it. All right, boys, we're gonna kick on with the legs. Um, so our next exercise is gonna be Bulgarian squats. What you wanna do, I've got a chair here for my little outdoor table. Um, but what you're gonna do is put your front leg forward and your back leg just rest up there on the chair. Uh, and essentially just up and down. Make sure you feel the stretch and then you feel the, um, you know, the work in the top of your quad. Up and down, up and down. Um, depending on where you want to uh, work on the muscle, you can put your front foot a little bit more forward, a little bit more back. Uh, the further forward it goes, the more you're going to work the top of your quad. The further back, the more it's going to work your glutes. Get to it, gents. All right, boys, we're 
right boys, for this next one you're actually going to need a, a proper deck or a, um, a doorstep or something that you can you know, jump on. Uh, we're going to be doing split squats or split jumps. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, one foot on, jump and then swap it. Uh, yeah, do about 40 or 50, I don't know. Do it until you can feel it and then do some more. All right, boys, uh, for this one I'd recommend grabbing a towel or you can do it inside, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Um, but we're gonna be doing V-snaps, the old classic. Uh, so try and get about two sets to 20, I'd say. Um, as with all the other exercises, make sure you, you're doing what you know you can do, so don't push yourself like, you know, too hard. Um, but at the same time, if you find that two for 20 is easy, do some more. Um, but yeah, two for 20, um, and then we're gonna top it off with some uh, crunches. So watch this space. When you're doing crunches, you wanna get nice up on your low back, and you wanna alternate uh, your shoulders. So touch your left elbow to your right knee. And, uh, and so on. You also, at the same time, you're gonna be bringing your legs up, alternating, um, and so just combining those two uh, looks a little bit like this. All right, boys, so the last exercise we're gonna do is chin-ups. Um, I've got this funky little bar behind me, but if you guys don't have one, you can um, I know use a door frame or you know, strap something over a tree branch. Um, just make do with what you've got. Uh, I'm gonna do two sets for 10, um, and then probably change up the group a bit. So, uh, yeah, play around with what you have. Obviously, it's not gonna be a one-size-fits-all, but give it a go. All right, boys. That's the workout done and dusted. Make sure you uh, don't take, don't rest for too long in between. Remember, it's meant to be intense uh, interval training. Um, but yeah, stay hydrated. Wash your hands. Happy quarantine. <laughs>